Hey guys, this is Doomed Cow, and today we're doing the Ring Scourers tips and tricks video that I have promised. So basically, we're gonna start off the beginning with the shop. So, in ranked, you get the ranked perks. Basically, these are the kits that are a viable option scout, armor, champion, blacksmith. Alright, so if you like the perk for one of them, I give the champion perk, just buy champion. Just buy the perk that corresponds with the kit. I mean, other way around, buy the kit that corresponds with the perk that you have. Also, these are like the four uh, good perks that you should need. I mean, you don't need them, but it's better that you uh, like try to max these ones out and don't waste like stuff like environmental expert or something. Don't waste coins on that type of stuff. These are the four best ones. I would say especially this and this are pretty good. All right, anyways, let's move on. So the two biggest reasons that people always use as their excuses for not winning are cleaners and hackers. So first we're gonna start off with hackers. Alright, we're just gonna choose one of these people and assume they're hacking, like act like they're a hacker. Because honestly, I don't really find that many hackers, so I don't know what people are talking about when they say there's a lot of hackers. And when I do, I know how to deal with them. And this is how you first do it. So by finding the hacker. You gotta try to figure out that they're hacking before they hack on you. So that's just don't be the first person to fight, stuff like this. First of all, you just always clean them, you know, if you one tap thumb or like you no know, have the out gear advantage you know stuff like that oh my god jesus christ this man's giving me the spin cycle okay no we don't like to be cleaned we don't like to be cleaned here nope not today Alrighty, we're back up just kidding we're gonna clean them but also um nah actually we're gonna we're gonna play the smart spec Pretty scary looking. Let's just assume he's our hacker, alright? Basically, what you're gonna do when there's somebody who's a hacker in the game is to camp it out. Unless they have like some like scaffold hacks or stuff like that. Like, oh, if they're that, like if they have that many hacks on in Rake Scourers, like, you're screwed. Just jump in the void pretty much. Okay, you're screwed. I'm sorry, but it just it happens to everybody. Now, if they're just kind of hacking, like maybe like extra block or stuff like that. Then you pretty much just need to do, which is camp. Just camp all game long. Wait until you outgear them by a lot to fight them, or you can like. And if they have enough reach that it's actually like really annoying to fight them, just go in like a hole and just make it so that they can't leave. So be on this side and try to get circle around so they are over here. So you just block it at them, and then you'll just trade hits. And if you're more stacked, you no, know, you'll come out on top. Okay, so basically you always want to make sure you have. All your healing items used as much as possible and yeah we're out gearing him which is really good because if he was a hacker then he would be doing well he still is doing less damage but if he was a hacker we might be a fair fight just because even though he out hits me with his hacks i would still be taking less damage than him where is he oh we don't have a rod we do have the gear advantage, which is really helping us right now get the win. Let's crit them out right here when they're not ready. You gotta help. You gotta make the hacker feel scared that you're gonna win, or else he's not gonna really be scared. Yeah. Anyways, there we go. A 50 feet a hacker. So, on to the second problem: cleaners. The best way to prevent yourself from getting clean is to be the person who cleans up. Don't be the first person to initiate the fight. And don't be near other people when you initiate if there's other people left. So, let's start off by showing how that's done. Because as you see, there is no fight that could be had here if I go quick enough as he is not even he uh, at the top of the island yet. He's still under looting more stuff, so I know he's not ready. And then, now we just block him up. And now, see look, we're being the cleaner. We were here at a good situation to clean up the fight. And we don't want to be the first person to fight, as I said. So you want to just block yourself in. And just chalk healing, you know? See, look. I blocked myself in so I wouldn't end up being cleaned. And look where it got me. Now, now there's a good opportunity. Over here, just go clean up. Oh my god, this is exactly... Like, this is a double thing. This guy's hacking too. As I said, they are... Well, I said last year there's not many hackers, and guess what we have here? 
You have a wonderful example of a cheater. But he's low. And that's what matter. Oh my god, never mind. He doesn't even matter how low he is if you can't hit them. Oh my god, calm down, young man. Yeah, so we blocked ourselves in so we couldn't get cleaned. And now it's the opportunity for us to clean up. Except that was an MVP hacker. Oh my god. People in these days who play this game. Are you serious? Nah, he's not being honest, of course. But it doesn't matter because I am way more stacked. Which is why I'm going to kill you. Like, I, I am obviously way more stacked than you. Which is why you're now dead. Alright. Because, you know, being more stacked equals winning the game. Now, there is one tip that is above everything I will say in the rest of the video and everything I've said already in the video. That is to not get frustrated. Being frustrated in Race Cowboys is the worst thing you can do to yourself. And it'll make you play much worse and you'll just lose more games in turn due to that. Now, how do you prevent being frustrated? Well, first of all, if you go on a losing streak, just stop playing, okay? If you lose a couple games in a row, don't play anymore. Because that's how you go on a losing streak. You lose a couple games, you feel like, ah, oh, I'm sure I'll win a couple more to come back. You lose another one, and it just it keeps going like that. You're more frustrated each time you lose. And it just becomes an endless cycle of you losing more games. And that is how a lot of people I see get drained down a lot. And then they get more frustrated in turn. And then they just, you know, it just becomes an endless cycle. So yeah, if you lose a couple games, just get off. Play something else. And yeah, that's, that's probably the best tip I have to give anybody. So now let's get on to the map specific tips. These will all be live commentaries of me on those maps, which is why my ratings drained a lot because I had to go find those maps and I just leave a bunch of games and stuff. But yeah, the maps that I uh, have tips specific for them are Fortress, Irene, Twisted Grove, Eden, Pitfall, Foundation, Reef, and So we're on the map Fortress right now and Fortress is an interesting map. It's basically there are two things you do. Alright. So basically fortress, make sure you hit the ladder and loot on the way down. You do not want to loot. Um, you don't want to be looting, like, stopping on the second floor or else it's just, honestly, you're just wasting your time. And see, right now, because I got a diamond piece that I don't have ready, I'll be able to get full diamond. So since I'm full diamond, there's no need to go to the bottom floor. If you're not full diamond from your island, you go to the bottom floor of this, uh, thing. Of the castle, I'd say. Or else you just staircase bridge to the top. Because at the bottom floor, there are plenty of diamonds. This is maybe the one of the only maps, or maybe even the only map. I would say don't mind the diamonds. The reason, the reason why I would say don't mind the diamonds on this map is just because of the fact. Look at this. Like, no. How? This is just, this is just annoying to mind them on, okay? It's really not that fun to mine the month's map, so I would not do it. Oh my god. So we're on the map Irene, and I think it is quite a good map, honestly. There's quite a bit of distance to run, but still, it keeps the Skywars feel of the knockoff. Now, another map where you never mind. Now, jump from your island straight to these two slabs that stick out. You can see pretty obvious to look for hey guys we're now on twisted grove another map that i forgot to put on my list my list is a notepad by the way but uh of maps uh, i like to call this one the big forest thing and big tree thing and uh yeah i just got home so if i suck who cares all right anyways that's what i like to do usually just circle around and i uh, yeah okay never mind he went to uh that way so i'm gonna go the other way because no one's there Basically, somebody always runs mid like really early. So pretty much this map, if you don't get to mid first, um, just camp at these things, and pretty much just gonna wait. Since he did break the chest in mid, you just basically sit at your island and get refilled. The center pit hole, I usually like to just cover it up with wood blocks. Yeah, first of all, first it when you're going up these side things, make sure you look at F5. If someone is like guarding right right around this area, they can just come and knock you off. So make sure you're looking now. Actually, I can also MLG from the top to the bottom. So that's really useful to do, especially because you can like just block behind you. Like when they try to jump down to you, block like this. So this messes them up and makes them miss the MLG, which is pretty much like you winning. All right, so now I can tell you guys about the next tip. See this ledge? 
Let's say this, you see someone like running up here like this, right? What you do is you could like surprise like snowball or bow shot or rod. Like when they like predict in front of them when they run over there. Those just pretty much be like this. They'll be like this. They just they just get knocked off. His surprise will take harder there and you could like backstab them or crit them out or something. Really, really useful to do. So that is my tips and tricks to get you into diamond and gold division. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't want to do anything like super specific. I know I did the map specific things, but I kind of felt like it was kind of it was just something that I've never seen anyone do. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope it helped you out. And I'll have a special video for uh, how to get leaderboards. It's gonna be quite uh, different, I would say. So yeah, look out for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.